Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about the zodiac sign Cancer and enemies. And yes, this does apply and pertain to the sun, moon, and ascendant. Well, anyway, uh, people, first thing I want to talk about is uh, as far as the zodiac sign Cancer and enemies goes, well, uh, Capricorn falls on the seventh house cusp in a solar or natal chart for cancer and so cancer may very well attract i mean seventh house is of course open adversary so the zodiac sign cancer may very well attract uh, a capricorn sun moon or ascendant as an enemy so or it could simply be somebody that embodies capricorn like uh, characteristics or maybe in a Capricorn like profession uh, could be people that are just very a uh, serious a stern disposition uh, people that are very ambitious people in business uh, politicians people that work in the government even general laborers I had a, a, a prominent family member has a uh, Capricorn on the seventh house cusp she has a cancer ascendant and 29 degrees which I see is the full culmination of the sign and she was notorious for getting into arguments with people that were uh, just basically general laborers in, in stores and hey, it's funny I mean astrology is so accurate at times it's not even funny and anyway going to uh, the 12th house cusp well in a solar or natal chart for cancer gemini often falls on the 12th house cusp and the 12th house cusp is of course hidden enemies or hidden adversaries now this uh means that well cancer can may attract uh, a gemini sun moon or ascendant as a hidden enemy or adversary or it could simply be people that embody uh, gemini uh, like characteristics or people that are in Gemini like professions now I think what's uh, interesting with this is that well the zodiac sign cancer may not be as gullible as say Pisces on average but cancer can be somewhat trusting I think in there they can be susceptible uh, easy mark for thieves and tricksters and Gemini is really the, the sign you really associate with that Gemini is ruled by Mercury and Mercury is over uh, Thebes and and Gemini is really known for for being very tricky and whether this could be whether this is a Gemini Sun Moon or Ascendant that is a hidden adversary or enemy or somebody that is in that does Gemini like uh, things say on if, it, if on a negative scale say being a con man doing something to, you know involved in nefarious activity such as being a con man or a thief well cancer can be susceptible to this and can and, and really that's uh, why I believe that Gemini I mean what well, cancer might attract these hit these Gemini uh, or Gemini like hidden enemies or adversaries now also um, the thing about the 12th house I want to get it is like um, some people will ask well why uh, how, how does uh, how does a person attract those hidden enemies what why is that and that that is represented by the sign on the, on the cusp of the 12th house well often the sign on the cusp of the 12th house of course will be the one which will come uh before your, your sign on the ascendant so i mean in in cancer's case most often gemini or very often gemini will fall on the 12th house cusp but it's a sign right before cancer and what it is is those qualities or attributes are often ones that uh, in this case cancer would be hard to see in themselves so i think it makes it hard to see those kind of enemies or adversaries represented by that sign so that's what i my theory is behind that now anyway keep in mind people that the, the adversaries are not necessarily limited to just the seventh house cusp and the twelfth house cusp because cancer is incompatible with aries and libra as well because cancer squares uh both those uh signs uh, by signs so anyway as far as aries goes well aries uh can simply hurt cancer's feelings with outspoken inflammatory uh remarks and aries may see uh 
the zodiac sign cancer is being rather uh, passive and timid and, and weak which i don't think i mean i don't think cancer is weak at all i think cancer can be somewhat timid and passive they're generally non-confrontational but i think aries often will misconstrue that as weakness and this very incompatible combination and, and th these two can can lock you know horns uh, very very easily i think now another sign that is incompatible with cancer as i stated before is of course libra and this could be another adversary now because a libra is square by sign to cancer now libra may not uh, be really as feeling or as uh, deep emotionally as cancer cancer may see libra is really having a phony charm and and superficial as far as the emotional level goes and, Le and Libra is just, uh, may not, Libra could be the type that you know, if they have an argument with a Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Senate, that they'd be willing to reconcile and make peace right away. But Cancer can be a little bit pouting and, and brooding and holding a grudge kind of thing. So that's where you can have some of the, the conflict going. Now, I want to talk about Cancer as an enemy. I think when I look at the zodiac sign Cancer, well, Cancer is not one that's generally going to give a frontal attack, whether it is uh, literally or in the figurative sense. And I mean, this is a this is a thing though. Keep in mind though that Cancer is generally non-confrontational. They are very uh, they could be rather uh, passive and timid. I don't see them as weak though. But if you do something to Cancer's family well you're gonna you're really you know you're gonna have a, a probably a fight on your hands at that point and often cancer may not be responsible for his or her actions at that point that would make that, that's something that would make you know even the most mild-mannered cancer obviously uh become very uh, very incensed and angry uh, to say the least now if cancer is an enemy and i'm saying this facetiously of course if i mean hey mock and ridicule their homes uh, boast about having a bigger family than they do and criticize their homes when you go inside and say something's out of place uh so really uh th those are those are the uh, th that's as far as cancer the zodiac sign cancer and enemies goes well uh people this will that'll con uh include this conclude this youtube astrological segment for cancer enemies and stay tuned next time where i'll be talking about leo enemies two things i want to get with you on before i head out firstly the stars may impel but do not compel and secondly never isolate any single astrological element aspect planetary placement position configuration influence or what have you and make an analysis of a person astrologically speaking based on this alone because astrologically speaking the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one until next time people stay well